so let's talk about data types in python so in the last video i uh, uh, talked about variables now i will discuss data types so basically there are five types of data in python so five primitive types are there the one type is number the second type of the data is a string and third type of the data is a list fourth is your dictionary and then we have a tuple right so these are slightly advanced data types and these are basic data types so i will go through all the data types so in this video i will uh, cover about numbers and strings so numbers in python can be again of four types so you can have integers you can have long integers you can have floating point numbers and you can also represent complex numbers so you can also have complex numbers in python so integers you all know so integers like 20 long integers big numbers 53157 and remember long numbers are terminated by a l sign right so if you write l after any number it becomes a long number so floating point you already know floating point is let's say 20.5 31.0 and so on so complex numbers let's talk about complex numbers so complex complex numbers are written in this form 5 plus 3j or you can write 6.6 .6 plus 2j or maybe you can write x plus yj where x and y are some integers so this j basically represents the iota right so you can add two complex numbers this class is already defined so this is not defined in c plus plus in python you have a complex number class you can make a complex number in python right so it is a like a primitive data type in python so let's write some code so data types may in first i'm going to talk about integers so let's say i have a number a which is 10 i have a number b which is again let's say 2034l then let's say c which is 34.5 and let's say d which is 5 plus 4j right so you can print the types of these numbers so print type of a print type of b print type of c print type of d right. so let's run the code so you can see a is an integer b is a long c is a float and d is a complex you can even have a, another complex number which is let's say 2 plus 6j right and you can also print the sum of two complex numbers you can say print d plus e so you can see the answer is 7 plus 10j so it is adding the complex numbers real part may be addition kar rahe, imaginary part may be addition ho rahe, right so this is the complex number formed by adding two numbers so you can do arithmetic also you can have print a into a or maybe a into a plus b yes so yeah so the answer is 20134 you can have addition of numbers right is my 100 add kiya so the answer is 20134 so let's talk about another type of data which is string right so suppose you have a uh, you want to represent some string so let's say name equals to coding blocks and language equals to this so we are learning python so it can be a multi-line string also using triple quotes if you are using double quotes so i can print the string like this uh, language i can have a concatenation at 
name right so this will print we are learning python at coding blocks so i will just run this code yeah so we are learning python at coding blocks so here i have given a backslash n so that's why there is a backslash n here also right so if i make it single line so then it will work fine so note one thing यहाँ पे plus does not add any space plus does not add any space so either I should add a space here right or if I do not want to add a space I can leave commas I can leave commas like this so instead of commas a space is automatically added by python interpreter so you can also have a comma comma separated print so automatically the space is added so this is how the strings work in python strings can be concatenated because python supports overloading let's write let's try to compute length of the string right so let's say my string equals to hello world and i want to just compute the length of this string so i can say print length of my string so this gives me 10 so this string has 10 characters right so if i give space so this has 11 so len is a inbuilt function which takes the string and computes its length let's try to do something like this my string of 0 print my string of 0 so it prints h so it i can extract all the characters of the string also right let's say my string of 2 so i go, i get l so indexing starts from 0 and it is like a character array so string is like a character array but i cannot do this i cannot write my string of 2 equals to m so this will give me an error because this these strings does not support item assignments right it means these strings are read only so this is a read only string i cannot update a string right so these strings are only read only objects so there is one more thing which is called slicing in strings So let's see what is the meaning of slicing so what happens is if suppose if i have a string hello and it is stored like this so 0 1 2 3 4 so i can write suppose this string is s str so i can have something like this so i can say starting point and ending point plus one so it means agar mere ko string x chota sa part extract karna hai jiska starting point let's say three hai and ending ke agla point batana padta hai yaha pe which is the next point after the ending point so this point is let's say this three ya phir starting point is zero ending point is three it means i will get a substring which starts from zero and ends before three so this will give me hel right so this end is not included and plus one matlab agar yahan tak khatam karna hai so mere ko is, is, is element ka index bhejna padega let's try to do this so i can say print my string of start karo zero se aur end karo tum three pe let's see right i cannot do this so right so i got the output hel so this is how the slicing works suppose i want to extract this part last three characters so i have to write str of 2 right this part is optional if you do not uh, write this part so it will automatically take the end of the string also this this is also optional so if you do not write anything this will print the whole string this will print the whole string suppose if i write here 2 so it will print all the characters before 2 all the characters before 2 so it will print he
let's try to do do this so let's say print my string of two right so all the characters before two so this will print the first two characters suppose you want to print last two characters then you can write like this so the second last character is like three so starting from three you have to print all other characters right so you got hello world right so our string was hello world so you got all the characters starting from three so this is how the slicing works so i will talk more about slicing when we will start lists so we will discuss more about slicing in lists so i hope you are clear with the numbers and the strings